Can you imagine sitting next to this little guy on a plane? Daniel the Duck is allowed on flights because he is officially certified as an emotional support animal. Daniel always has to wear a diaper, and look at those little red booties. The photos taken Monday on a flight from Charlotte, North Carolina to Asheville are a viral sensation. It's different strokes for different folks. Daniel takes care of me just like someone's dog takes care of them. In this Inside Edition exclusive, Daniel's owner Carla Fitzgerald told me she needs the duck for support due to post-traumatic stress she suffered following a traffic accident. How necessary is it for you to have Daniel the duck when you're aboard an airplane? It's necessary for Daniel to be with me in anything I get into, particularly cars. Um, anytime I'm traveling anywhere, Daniel has to, has to be with me. Tickle, tickle, tickle. Carla tickle, treats tickle, Daniel tickle, like a member tickle, of the tickle, family. Oh, Daniel, my sweet boy. And while he may fly coach, he gets first class treatment like a spaghetti dinner at home in Milwaukee. Good stuff, Daniel. Here he is playing the keyboard. Play some music. Unusual service animals on planes are a growing phenomenon, much to the annoyance of some other passengers. Imagine an emotional support turkey. <laughs> what about a pot belly pig? Aviation expert Ed Booth isn't a big fan of these service animals. It's reached a level of absurdity, bringing your backyard pet along with you on a long uh, or even a short commercial flight uh, endangers the safety and comfort of your fellow passengers. But Carla couldn't disagree more. What have people who sat next to you uh, on planes, how have they reacted? with, oh my God, look, he's so cute. Look at his little red shoes. Look at his diaper harness. That's a duck, I can't believe it. This has made my day. That's the reaction I typically get.